Hi, you're on your user channel. I'm Adrian Baranek, and here with me is our CTO, Madam Baranek. Uh, Hi. Uh, last time we talked about uh, improving on Excel, some quick wins, and today we will be going into more details uh, because Excel is an amazing tool that lots of companies use in their work processes. Uh, when ERP is uh, either more, more more expensive or more difficult to set up, Excel is always coming in handy. Uh, can you tell us more about that? Please? So, while Excel started as a, a table calculator, uh, mainly used by uh, finance to perform some calculations. Uh, it evolved in a, a versatile, versatile tool that is used for managing uh, business processes as well. So it is used for data gathering because it is so common that you, you can send Excel table to number of people through email and then they can enter data so you, you can collect it back. It can be used for reporting because if you have databases and uh, ERP system stuff like that, uh, uh, people would need uh, analysis, uh, data analysis and uh, presentations of uh, data that can be produced by Excel charts and you can connect Excel with various databases and ERP systems. Most of them do uh, export in that format. And uh, you can also uh, uh, manage kind of uh, uh, approval processes, planning processes. So uh, Excel is really uh, a very versatile tool that is commonly used in, in enterprises today for uh, a number of uh, processes where ERP is not flexible enough or it would be too costly to develop applications to perform such tasks and uh, during time people automated a lot of things with Excel as well so it's really very very handy tool Mm -hmm. Great. So uh, we at Miadria uh, for our users platform developed um, several applications that uh, extend Excel and that allow you to use Excel-like uh, Excel tools in very advanced uh, work processes. One of those mm -hmm. processes is planning. And um, can you tell us more about uh, the solution where planning uh, mm -hmm. is performed in Google Sheets and Excel-like uh, calculator compared to what you would be doing in Excel. So uh, Excel is uh, so Microsoft Excel. It's kind of limited to personal use, while Google Sheets came uh, from the Internet era, and they are uh, more suited for uh, for collaboration. So for for planning process, uh, it is uh, uh, easier to use Sheets Google Sheets since they allow many people to simultaneously work on the uh, same set of data. You can set uh, authorizations, you, you can protect cells mm -hmm. in, in different sheets uh, based on uh, who is accessing those sheets. All Google Sheets are accessible through uh, web browsers. And uh, what's more, you can actually link them like databases. So you can gather data from uh, hundreds of different Google Sheets into one uh, sheet for uh, reporting in uh, kind of a real time. So th there is a lag of a second or a few seconds when someone enters data in one sheet, uh, that data will be updated in linked sheets. Uh, uh, so it is possible to build very flexible uh, planning systems where you have one source of truth since uh, you know, there is a history th uh, and uh, no one has to uh, collect data and reformat it and do some manual tasks. It can be done automatically and you can see at any moment who entered what and uh, where. Mm -hmm. So that, that is one of the uh, uh, benefits uh, where uh, collaboration really excels. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. And uh, the second solution that we would like to talk about today is the form approval. 
Uh, mm -hmm. There are lots of uh, those um, horrible forms that companies have to fill and get them approvals from many levels. And Excel is a very mm -hmm. practical one to solve this uh, in an easy way. And uh, can you tell us more mm -hmm. about our solution? Yeah, so uh, one of big differences between uh, on-prem Excel and Google Sheets is that uh, uh, Google Sheets are aware of the current user of the sheet and you can actually uh, uh, have many people uh, accessing the same uh, Google Sheet but uh, uh, they will have uh, different uh, views and they will be able to do different things with the same sheet so uh, when you combine it with uh, uh, flow uh, uh, flow charts and uh, business process management uh, requirements you can actually build uh, great tools with uh, Google Sheets uh, for a form entry so one of uh, problems uh, people face with forms is that they usually uh, uh, handle one one entity, one item, and with sheets you can, for example, organize uh, approval processes for number of people simultaneously, mm -hmm. or you can uh, have mass entry uh, from uh, uh, linking with uh, Excel or uh, other Google Sheets. So, uh, unlike entering data into ERP through forms, where you can, for example, usually enter one item uh, per form, uh, which it's, uh, it is possible to uh, ease uh, multi, uh, multiple entries and uh, people are kind of accustomed working in, mm -hmm. uh, uh, in table calculators. So for them it is much easier to adapt this new approach of using the same old uh, tool like Excel for data entry as well. Mm -hmm. Great. And um, the one thing that had made all of this possible and uh, all of our solutions possible uh, is Google Apps Script. Uh, mm -hmm. um, can you tell us more about programming with Google Apps Script? Yeah, so uh, historically people were able to you know, do uh, macro coding to automate some tasks in table calculators. Then there were different languages developed. One of most popular was Visual Basic for applications. But uh, unfortunately, uh, if you are using different platforms like browsers or Windows or uh, Android or iOS phones, so suddenly you have a lot of issues. So somehow uh, JavaScript became uh, lingua franca. So JavaScript became a language that is supported on all platforms. And uh, t today even uh, Microsoft is using uh, JavaScript for add-ins and for uh, automating Excel. But it is not as uh, uh, flexible as what you can do with uh, Google Sheets and JavaScript where uh, everything uh, from uh, Google Sheets is exposed is, is exposed through APIs that are presented through very uh, easy to understand uh, object model mm -hmm. of, of Google Sheets and you have integrated uh, editor for developing applications plus you have uh, app maker tool that is uh, especially designed for uh, people who are not uh, coders who, who are not um, programmers mm -hmm. to develop applications using uh, google sheets and databases so th they can do that uh, i wouldn't say without coding but with only basic understanding of uh, of uh, javascript mm -hmm. so fr from that perspective uh, uh script it's much easier and streamlined solution to automate uh, processes in uh, in enterprises even by end uh, end users mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and just to make things clear, so we are not Google. We are a company that is partnered with both Google and Microsoft, and we love Microsoft. Uh, most of our uh, uh, work we have done in Excel, in fact. Uh, but Google started earlier with the Internet. They started earlier with Google Sheets, and somebody at Google uh, obviously understood what Excel um, uh, appeal is to companies. But we, we can also, we must also point out out that Microsoft is in fact behind the scenes moving away from this uh, uh, oh. what they have been doing in the past. Can you tell us more about yes. this? Please? So from Office 2013 mm -hmm. uh, Microsoft is supporting JavaScript for developing add-ins and for uh, automation so they are migrating from uh, Visual Basic for applications to JavaScript in order to support both uh, web-based versions of uh, Excel, on-prem versions of Excel, and uh, also mobile applications for, for mm -hmm. Android and iOS. Uh, it is, uh, yeah, so th they have a larger installed base, so th there are uh, more challenges for them to embrace this whole uh, JavaScript thing. And at the moment, it's a little bit more complex to do development based on um, Microsoft uh, uh, Microsoft Office tools. But it's improving and it's, uh, it's uh, sure possible. So, uh, yeah, they, they have a little bit different uh, approach. So we, we hope at uh, a very soon there will be kind of a parity and many solutions will be able to interoperate with mm -hmm. uh, uh, G Suite and Office 365 in a sense that you can have same solution on both both platforms. Yeah, and so we are proud to announce that we do plan to uh, create the same solutions that we have with Google Sheets now uh, that will be working with Excel Online in the near future. Um, uh, can you tell us for this time um, in time and space uh, continuum uh, that we are now in 2019? Um, uh, uh, do you predict that maybe next year uh, Google uh, and the Sheets and Excel Online will be uh, um, both uh, uh, able to work with our uh, Well, solutions. hopefully next year we'll mm -hmm. be able to uh, have uh, marketplace applications for Office 365 mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Great. So I, I just wanted to hear you say that to our users. Um, we are very excited to have those solutions. Uh, and uh, if you want to know more about our solutions and how we can help you with them, uh, with, with using them and implementing them in your organization, please do contact us. Um, do you have anything else to add or uh, did we mostly cover? No. Uh, okay, <laughs> thank no. you so much Have for your time. Have a nice time. day and thank you for watching us. Thank you, bye.